Hi everybody, uh, so it's Coach Jesse here. Uh, today we're going to go over a, a serve progression that's really easy uh, for your, your kid to follow. So this video is for uh, the beginner tennis players in my program. So if they're looking to work on their serve and really learn the basics of the contact point and when the, what the hand does uh, with the racket, um, then these really simple progressions really should uh, help your kid out. So here it is. Um, so the first thing that's most important is working on your toss because uh, if, if you toss behind you or too much in front of you like it's got to be in the same place every time it's got to be something that you can depend upon um, with every single serve it really should be something that, that they have to think about but it does require a lot of repetitions so what they, what you, what they really should do is hold it with their fingertips and then just use your shoulder to have the ball, the ball go low to high like they're tossing up like an elevator what happens a lot is that the kid will hold it in, the, in their hand like this and then once they, once they do that their wrist will probably do more, more of the tossing or their elbow and that leads to the ball going behind them or it's really erratic so it has to be really consistent toss up the elevator all right step two is to make sure that you're working on the basic like contact point uh, you're tossing it pretty you're tossing it high like, like if your contact point with your racket is here, then you're gonna to wanna to toss it about like probably three or four inches higher than that so they can wait for the ball to drop um, and then make contact. So in this uh, in step two, we're gonna take our hand, close the fingers, and we're gonna hold it like we're answering a phone, okay? Take your cell phone, put it here, and then we're going to, we're going to toss and then high five. So it's gonna look like this. So on edge with your hand, and then a high five like this, high five, high five. So we're gonna, we're gonna start again, here we go. Toss, high five. So the ball is going to go high over the net. We're not going to hit down on top of the ball. We want to ha have our motion to be up and out. So again, we're gonna to toss and hit up and out. All right, so step three is to now, we're still gonna use, uh, um, the racket, we're going to use the racket now. We're going to choke up on the racket. We can, right near the bottom of the throat, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to answer the phone, toss up, high five. We want to make sure that we have that motion going. So we're getting the racket on edge, answer the phone here, oh, hello. And then high five, so the ball's going over the net. It's really important. And then from there, once they get that motion down, Then they can uh, back up, like I'm really close to the net right now, but then they can back up, they can go to the service line, and then they can go maybe like halfway with a grip, and then instead of answering the phone call here, you can turn a bit more here, so it's a little bit bigger wind up, and the answering the phone is now behind you, the elbow is behind you, you gotta toss, and then the exact same, the exact same thing. Toss up, and swing up and out. Once they get that going, then once you feel comfortable with the kind of the basics of technically called pronation with your wrist, um, it's really just kind of the basics of throwing a ball. It's really the same movement. Um, then they can back up. They can go to the baseline. Once they feel comfortable with that basic motion, they really should get it going with a full service motion, at least a small abbreviated one. So what I mean by that is that just starting in front of the body with the ball in the racket together, and then doesn't have to be that high of a toss um, because that's when that's when like you're waiting for the ball to drop and it can get a little uh, it can be a little nerve wracking for the kids still they're still learning that motion as so make sure it's a smaller toss um, and just answer the phone call right away behind you um, and it's really short toss and they don't have to wait too long for it. Um, and then they can follow through. So just those basics, like it, I've, I've done it before in some lessons, it really has helped out a lot with the high five with the hand. Um, so hopefully that, that helped you out. And then there'll be other videos talking about how to fix certain parts of the serves with certain hitches and things like that that I've seen uh, like hundreds of times in my lessons. All right, so hopefully that this video helped you out and check out the other ones in the online program. All right, see ya, bye.